seventh eighth grade math class. Okay, so today her and I will be teaching a lesson together. Again, my name's Miss Fillerin and I'll be on the board. So you can treat me the way you treat her. If you ask questions and you have something that you don't understand, you can ask me. Okay? So today we're gonna be doing a really cool lesson. Um, we have a lot of people in the classroom. I don't want you to be nervous at all. Um, if people stand by you, it's just because they want to know what you're thinking. Okay? They're not, they're, all they're doing is listening to what you're thinking and looking at what you're recording. Okay? So make sure you speak loud enough so that they can hear you and then just pretend like the cameras aren't here. Okay? So, um, what we're going to be doing today is t about two weeks ago, I think you guys did a, a problem called Pizza Crust. Uh, Miss Frank gave you a problem. She had you do it by yourself. Do you all remember it? Mm -hmm. But uh, what was it about? Can anyone tell me what it was about? about? And I have a seating chart here, so if I don't know your name, I apologize. So I'll be looking at this. Is it Cassie? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so the circumference of areas, I mean the area and perimeter of rectangles, and then you had circumference and you were looking at pizzas. Okay, do you guys remember that problem? What else? Does anybody else remember what else it was about? No? Okay, so anyway, we're going we're gonna to talk about that today, okay? And this is a lesson that Ms. Ferrant and I planned, and we want to see what, you, what uh, you know about it, okay? So our first activity that we're going to do, she's going to pass out paper, um, and we just want you to think about it. You don't have to write anything down. And we'll be doing a lot of thinking privately by ourselves, and then sharing with a partner, and then sharing out loud, okay? And I know that's a common thing you guys do in your class. But the first thing that we want you to do is Robbie is confused. He's a student and he's confused about area and perimeter. He thinks they're the same. He thinks there's no difference between the two and we want you to help him. Okay? So right now think what you would say to him if you wanted to tell him the difference between area and perimeter. Just think privately to yourself. Okay, when you're ready, share with your partner what you would tell Robbie. Okay, did everyone have a chance to talk about it? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Who would like to explain what you would say to Robbie if you wanted to tell him the difference between area and perimeter? What would you say? Okay. Um, is it Connie? Uh, Angelique? Okay. Ah, okay, you're telling me how to get it. So you're saying, well, what, what shape are you talking about? A tri I mean, the, the rectangle. The rectangle. So you're saying for area it would be length times width, and then for uh, perimeter it would be length plus width. Okay. Is there anybody else that would like to add to what Angelique said? Okay. How about, is it Alex? Alexander? The area Okay, so the area is what's inside and the perimeter is what's outside. Okay, Alex, do you want to come up and color in one of those for me? I want us to color in on these shapes, red, what's area, and green, what the perimeter is. So choose the one that you want, you want to do. You can choose whichever shape you want. Okay? You can shade it in. Now let's move this closer. Can you guys see what Alex is doing? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Let's try and fill in all, all of it so it's all on the side. Okay. Does anyone want to come up and color in what the perimeter would be in green? In green? How about, uh, is Brandon? Are you Brandon? No. Yamlet? What's your name? Julie. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, Brian. Okay, that's Okay. So Alex co colored in the square and he colored in the area. Okay? Thanks. Tell your 
your partner really quickly what, is it Julian? What Julian's doing. What's he? <laughs> He's going to get the, he's going to the perimeter of the circle, and what did Alex do? Alex, he shaded in the, the middle of the square, so, because it's the area. And what, what's area? What do you think area I would is? like to raise your hand and tell me what Julian did. What did he do? Okay. okay. Um, it's Jessica. Stacy. He, he outlined the circle, which is the perimeter. Okay, can anyone come in and color the area of this? Come up and color the area of it. How about um, Sh Shira? Shira? And Ms. Ferrant has the red ones and I have the green one. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Okay, do you guys agree with Shira? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. Thank you, Shara. Can someone come up and color in in green the perimeter of the square that Alex colored in? Okay. Uh, Desiree? Yes. Okay, thank you, Desiree. So she co she colored the green around it, and that's the perimeter. Okay, and our very last shape, the rectangle. Okay, is there somebody that wants to come up and color the area of the rectangle? Okay. Uh, Erica? And then maybe while she's doing that in green, does someone want to come up and color alongside of her the perimeter in green? Okay. Uh, Brandon? Yeah. And I know it takes a while to color, so you can just kind of shade it in really quickly. Okay. You're welcome. So looking at what you guys just did, it seems like you know a lot about area and perimeter. Area is on the inside, and perimeter is the distance around it. Or area is the space on the inside, and perimeter is the distance around it. Okay.